Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing news in regards to some brand new, kind of cool news that Sony has finally done. We've had a lot of critiques as of recently, but with the Project Spartacus, which is kind of like the Xbox Game Pass kind of competitor, slowly making its way into the rounds, this is actually kind of intriguing news to go and share and kind of go and talk about, because it actually is something cool that a lot of things that I myself keep on pushing for. We also have some brand new updates, some game updates, and everything else tied on in a lot of things to go kind of casually go and cover especially as our playstation plus playstation now and playstation overall members so let's go talk about this talk about everything and let's go and dive in the video itself as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console and controller twitter and twitch stream as well link down below sign up for that weevil sign up for that coinbase is all down below and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching let's go and dive on in so as i mentioned this video is going to be more in regards to ps plus and ps now where sony themselves is finally doing something that i feel like everyone wants and has needed and has been basically begging for for literally probably probably months if not years at this point where we actually find now have brand new playstation now games now that's not the cool stuff. The cool stuff is we finally have brand new day one releases that are now officially able to be utilized and played through PlayStation itself. And this is in regards to PlayStation Now and as well PlayStation Plus, which is actually having a really cool kind of big a bump up of new games and also let the last little reminder for you guys to go and download last month's too as well. So a lot of good stuff. So in case you guys didn't have a chance to go and see with this right now, we had an official Sony PlayStation blog post from today. And one major thing I want to note is on the PlayStation Now games for March, which heavily includes Shadow Warrior 3, especially put a focus on that one, Crisis Remastered, Relitica, and Chicken Police Paint It Red. Now, I'm going to kind of give you guys, I, like, I guess, like the post thing after I make my initial comments on this, but this is finally huge this is finally something that we've been waiting for sony to go and do for at this point forever and that's a day one title available for paying subscription members to go and utilize and play the game now now it's not the craziest craziest game out there this is for shadow warrior as you can probably go and tell from this in the background this i believe is officially coming out as of march first at least everything I've kind of seen up online, all that stuff in general too as well. A lot of people are here too, over here saying this basically for this. The game is set to be released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And now see PS5 and Xbox 2 as well. Developed obviously by Devolver Digital. Coming out as of March. I do believe the game is officially as of what I've seen. March 1st, you look up on Steam for the pre-purchase. Shadow Warriors as well. March 1st, 2020. So you guys have also seen Shadow Warriors out March 1st. So this is huge. Mainly because the one kind of huge thing we always keep on pushing for when it comes to games like think Xbox and everything else is more on the day one releases. That's one of the biggest perks. You get to play Halo day one. You get to play Forza day one, all for the low cost, and you're basically saving money. Some things for games like PS Plus, while those games are on, have been on sale for a long time, PS Now maybe been out there for years, it's just not as much of an enticing offer. But for this, we finally have something enticing when it comes to Sony. Shadow Warrior Day 1 on PlayStation Now. So in theory, if you guys are spending money on the game, if you guys look at Steam, it's $50 for the pre-order. You can literally go and check out the game and play the game for only just the price of your PlayStation Now subscription. And it's even easier if you already are a PlayStation Plus subscriber. So I love this. Like this is, like it's not the biggest game. Like don't get me wrong. This isn't like Horizon Day 1 or like Ratchet and Clank Day 1. But this is Sony slowly working towards what people really want. If you want people to be using PS Now, you want people to keep on wanting to keep on using their PlayStation Plus, you need good offers, you need good subscription bonuses, and this is a big thing where even I myself would be incentivized to get PlayStation Now because I could literally go and save like $30 on a game and also maybe have access to everything else with the PlayStation Now. And that's the whole major concept of Xbox Game Pass. You get Halo, you get Forza, you get whatever, you get Gears of War, whatever it is, and then on top of that, after you beat the game or like you get bored, you have all these other thousands of games to go and check out. It's just the common thing for Xbox Game Pass. So this is huge to me. Like I'll give it a major thumbs up because usually PlayStation Now games are kind of just mediocre, very mid. But this is like the one time it seems like so far that Sony's actually taking it serious. 
and actually offering like a somewhat good uh product so for this series, you guys can see shadow warrior 3 over here too if you guys want to go check that out and see it in general you guys can they also did go and finally add up other stuff and this also is a nice thing because it's also until july 4th as well we also do also have crisis remastered which is a very very good playstation now once again bonus although i've heard kind of mediocre things at least for the pc side playstation 5 side i'm not super sure you also have Verlitica, which I'll be honest with you guys, I've like never even heard of before in my entire life. In general, just saying. So this is also not my actual birthday, I just clicked random numbers. <laughs> but like this also seems kind of cool, kind of looks like maybe like a, uh, I don't know, like a builder type game. Like it looks like a nifty game, don't get me wrong. If you have a chance to go check out up on PS Now, why not? It's like a nice little casual game in the background. And also last but not least, this is actually a game you guys may not think is actually good. Chicken Police is actually a game I played as a sponsored game where it's basically like a murder detective history, like you're a cop, you're a chicken. It's a little bit weird on the whole animal style, but it's really cool in like the 1920s, like 1930s type like era. Very good. I highly recommend if you guys like those story type games. So all around really cool stuff. And we love seeing that Sony is finally making this push towards them actually including a good service on a day one thing where the game is actually going to be coming out and people can be incentivized to use PlayStation Now and check out the game itself. And that's cool. Like, I really want them to keep on pushing towards day one releases. I want Xbox to keep on pushing that too as well. Because at the end of the day, you are saving money. You spend $15 when you would have spent $50. You still have a chance to fully play through the game. And you also get all the bonus stuff, like I mentioned. Like, so kind of give me your thoughts and comments on that down below. The part two of this is also really cool in regards to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, as well when it comes to PlayStation Plus. Like, a really big focus more so on these subscription services for Sony. But we have a double whammy. Number one, one is we'll have our last day slash last reminder in case you guys want to go check out any games from february 2022 which basically you guys have a chance to go get it if you guys are playstation plus members especially if you guys are doing like playing for multiplayer games etc etc but the part two of this will also be the new upcoming games as well so i'm sure you guys always know playstation plus is very nice Although not always the best games, we got some decent ones. So for this one, as of the last month, was probably one of the worst received PlayStation Plus updates from February 22nd. will be finally being rotated out as well. So if you guys want to, although I didn't think it was actually the world's worst one, Planet Coaster, 100% worth the download. Go and check it out on your console itself. Why not? It takes like one button, one click. It takes two seconds. Might as well, you know, might as well. That game is probably the one game of all the games I'd recommend you guys getting. Tiny Tina's Assaults on Dragon Keep, kind of on the middle. There is a brand new Tiny Tina's game coming out too as well, I think, as of next month. So kind of more on the mid side. If you guys have that type of like Borderlands type craving, just wait for that. And then EA Sports UFC 4, meh, meh. And it's kind of funny because I do think a lot of folks are kind of mediocre on it. I did like Planet Coaster. I can go and say that game is probably worth the download and worth the storage space. It's just fun if you guys like those sim park building games. But when it comes to uh, apparently everyone else, no one else really liked it, which I can kind of understand. It's kind of very, it's just old games, outdated games. It's just not the best. It's, it's like basically getting like Borderlands 2 when Borderlands 3 has been out for a while. It's kind of what was for Tiny Tina's, like USC, it's okay. I don't know. I think Planet Coast is cool though. So, but for this one, actually, I do have the March 22nd games going on. So this upcoming month. So just in case you guys want to get any of these games, this one's actually also pretty solid. So for this, we also have ghost runner which is a very kind of cool sci-fi type game i would actually highly recommend it i think it's actually been a pretty cool pretty solid game i think it's just kind of cool especially for free especially with playstation plus arc survival evolved also a huge game with a huge pc presence it's very very good at least in my opinion i would probably also get that it worth a download like a lot of these for free i think in my opinion are worth the download and also team sonic racing i never played but if you guys like the mario kart and other various type style games in all honesty want to be against it and as well the ghost of tsushima legends 2 on top of that as well and all three of them will be available as of tomorrow march 1st so this is kind of my double reminder make sure you guys go deal with the very first initial playstation plus games and also make sure you guys get the new ones as of tomorrow and on top of this, we also did go mention this a lot too, that GTA Online will be a little bit of a bonus extra one for March 15th as an added extra, which is awful. We've also just never even seen that as well for Sony games and PlayStation Plus games. So all this puts together kind of goes and puts to show that PS Now and PS Plus at least are finally in a good month. Last month, mediocre. This month, like I said at the start, the kind of the big premise of the video, PlayStation Now having a day one title that is huge we want to see more of that i would love to see that more even for maybe even trials as well for brand new next gen games ratchet and clanks horizons god of wars i would love if they gave us like 10 hours or gave us like five hours whatever it is just throw us a bone and especially if you want to segue into project spartacus in the near future 
give us the good stuff. Make us actually feel like we're getting a good deal, not every single month being a bid mediocre. Same with the PlayStation Plus. It's literally free stuff. If you guys already have your PS Plus subscription, I'm sure a lot of you guys do, just go pay the extra money for it. It's not the worst, and I'd probably, honest to God, recommend it. As well, like I said, for Planet Coaster, Ghost Runner, Ark, etc., those are probably the big three I'd recommend that are probably worth the storage space. So kind of give me your thoughts. Do you guys like this current update when it comes to the PS Plus uh, in general? Do you guys like the previous gen games, this upcoming gen? Do you like the idea of PlayStation now finally giving us a day one title? Kind of give me all your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch room as well, link down below. And sign up for that Weeble, sign up for that Coinbase. And I appreciate all of you lovely folks out here for watching. And I'll see you guys later on throughout today for some more brand new videos. Love you guys.